The trial of the former commander at Guantanamo Bay Naval Base resumes tomorrow at the federal courthouse here in downtown Jacksonville. This week, prosecution is expected to rest its case, and then defense will start calling witnesses to the stand. It's for John Nettleton, who's accused of obstructing justice and concealing facts into the death of 42-year-old Christopher Turr, a sailor on base. That sailor's wife last week admitted she had an affair with Nettleton. Defense lawyers will likely call witnesses in federal court for John Nettleton after prosecutors spent much of last week laying out their case. Some of the critical testimony came from Christopher Turr's wife, who admitted she had an affair with John Nettleton and was unaware the two men fought at her home prior to Turr's disappearance. Nettleton was charged because he was commanding officer on base at the time and is accused of obstructing investigators' search for Turr, whose body was eventually found in the harbor a day and a half after the two men fought. Rod Sullivan is an attorney not affiliated with this case, but he has been following it and thinks the makeup of the jury could affect this case. But I'm not sure that I would have chosen a jury with 11 women on it to sit in this particular case. Um, it's dangerous when you make an assumption that somebody based upon their sex uh, or age or race or any other factor is going to vote a certain way or not. And you have both the prosecution and the defense agreeing that this particular jury with 11 women and one one man is going to be one man is going to be a good jury for both sides and one side is clearly wrong Sullivan suspects Nettleton will take the stand in his own defense but Nettleton has not said if that in fact will happen news for Jack's reporter Allison Henning will be in the courtroom tomorrow morning and will bring us updates